remember, I just wanted her to be happy. So I, I also realized I don't, I didn't think that I could make her happy. And, and I was right because mm. she's very happy now. Um, but I remember that feeling. I was wondering if I would feel bad if she met another man, but I was, I was elated because she was happy. I think, uh, uh, you know, I, I hear that a lot that people, especially if they've left, and I don't necessarily think it's to allay your guilt, but actually because the per you just want that person to be happy, you know, that, you know, and you want them to find somebody lovely. I mean, and along the way, if you feel less guilty as a result, because they're happier and, you know, everything's worked out as it's meant to have worked out, but it just feels hard, doesn't it, during those, those months of, where you're giving yourself a good birching and everything else and beating yourself up. But um, I think it's kind of honoring you as well. And I think a lot of people, I remember, I mean, I called time in a marriage, but it was pretty much, you know, it was like, either you're going to say it or I'm going to say it. And, uh, and I remember thinking, actually, I had really, I had big periods of unexpected grief and sadness, which I didn't anticipate thinking, oh, you know, I've, I kind of made the decision um and uh emotions are sneaky aren't they mm. <laughs> really sneaky. Yeah. but yeah, um and know. then you moved you met chicken as well, well. Before, so obviously so feeling before, much more i you know before i met chicken you know no mud no lotus yeah right? totally totally so, so i went into the dating scene you know and that was the mud you know what i mean um yeah. And, 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 <laughs> and I didn't know what I was doing. I was, I was at, at, on a high level. I was finding success in my life. I'm up on stage in front of thousands of people. So I, I became very attractive, um, but I was not healthy mentally. So I started to attract um, different types of people um, that were totally not right for me, but I didn't know what was right. And I knew that I screwed this up. So then I went through this whole other phase where I started to date different people, like somebody younger than me, somebody older than me, somebody different than me. And I was just trying to figure out the unfigure outable. Yeah. Right. Um, and uh, so that was a nightmare. So, you know, I, I whenever some, you, when you get divorced, all of a sudden, everybody thinks you're, you're an expert. All these people started to come to me and say, Hey, I think I should get a divorce. Can you give me some advice? And I'm like, don't, <laughs> you know, um, try to, to make, make sure that you dot all your I's and cross your totally, teeth. Totally. So, yeah. It's not an easy route. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's exhausting. Yeah. And, um, cause what you forget about in dating is that there's emotions involved in it. And, yeah. and the truth is, is that I really wanted to find true love, but to be honest with you, seven years of dating beat me down to a place where I finally, which is, when you meet the girl i know I, yeah I it's when you're not her. looking when it kind of just oh i was i was done with it i said yeah. i will never date one more person anybody that meant anything to me mm. i just next them out of my brain and i just robotically became a, 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 a entrepreneur um a father to my kids and like you know a munich you know what i mean like i i just like said i'm not doing any of that and I remember, um, but I, I still had a, a dating app, which is another whole conversation. So the dating app is all about like swipe right. You know, it's like, yes or yeah. no, am I yeah. hot or not? And um, I remember I wasn't even interested in dating people as much as I was wondering if anybody cared about me and liked me. I went through that whole phase. But there was this one day and it was the last day that I was going to be on it. You know, I was like, <laughs> I love that. I love days like this. I've had so many stories like this. <laughs> and, and it's important for listeners to know, male or female, mm. um, that there were some other things going on on that day that I was unaware of. And one was that I had worked on myself quite a bit and I was in a much healthier place. I, I, was, I was no longer putting people down. I was listening more than I was talking. I made a conscious decision to stop trying to be right and choose to be kind. Um, all of those things. So I was in a much healthier place that day. So I, I go and, and, you know, the, the app I was on was called Bumble. And what's interesting we about it. Yeah. Okay, good. So Bumble is interesting because the woman has to like, okay, the guy. So mm -hmm. I see this, like, it's like my last ditch and I look 
and I see a picture of her. One picture. She does. She's not like next to a cheetah and all that stuff. It's just one picture. She doesn't got bunny ears or anything. Oh, or like ele- elegant and just unique and different. Is is she my type? Apparently, but I don't know what my type is. So, mm-hmm. but but under it, this is funny. And we have this saved. It says she says all her profile says is South African sex coach. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> and I said, what the hell? And I swiped right on it. And the funny thing about that story is the universe made it a challenge for me because on this app, if 24 hours go by and you don't come back from her, you lose her forever. So I had to pay like $30 to extend it (laughs) another 24 hours. And then she came back to me and um, we got on the phone and, you know, to anybody out there that's given up hope, Mm -hmm. um, I just want everybody to know that like, I was at the darkest end Aww. of that hole of, of hope. I just was 100% convinced. All my chips in, were in and convinced that I would never find the right person. Mm. Um, and, I w- and I became okay with that. So even if you're in that position right there, I just want you to know that there's a chicken and a dragon out there for everyone. 